everyone for uh, <coughs> coming to the pre-meeting meeting I mean meeting um, and uh, is there any agenda additions or deletions I would make a motion that under highway we add uh, the opening of uh, paving bids and also under old business we add the R Clark forest Is there a second to that motion? I'll second it. Where did you put that under? Old business? Old business for the R. Clark Forest. I was going to put it under treasurer, but that's all right. All right. Motion made and seconded. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Um, we did have uh, <coughs> minutes sent to us from June 10th Thank you. online. Did everybody get a chance to look at them? I glanced through them. I'll make a motion that they be uh, accepted subject to correction. Second. Okay. Second for discussion. Second. All right. Is there any corrections or deletions as far as those minutes are concerned? job licenses, so you might want to check with her on the accuracy of those. Is she coming in tonight? She will be here later on, yes. As she's planning on it anyways. So I'll amend my motion to uh, say that we approve them subject to the correction of the town clerk's dog license number. All right. Is that all right with the person who seconded that original motion? I did. Yeah, that's a fine in that case, all those in favor, please say aye. Uh, just aye. Minute, General, one other. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry. One other, just a quick little thing. Under Selectman's concerns uh, on the last line, where it says speeding on Middle Road and Quarter Line Road, that should be Middle Road and or Moulton Avenue and Middle Road. Mm. I'm good with that correction as well. All right. And I want to record show that I just ate. You want here? Okay. For those members that were present, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Okay. And we'll get those. Heidi, if I forget, can we <coughs> make Jen aware? I know that she's going to view these. TV. Oh, good. Thank you. All right. Uh, warrants are floating and drifting. If there's any folks that want to come up and see how we're saving you money, stop up. Uh, is there any public comments? I go in there, young lad. <laughs> All right. Hearing none, let's go right the highway. Uh, before we get into bids, <coughs> do you have anything you want to report? Uh, the <coughs> last storm we had Thursday really hammered us pretty good. Gorge Road remains closed with a big washout on the eastern end of it, off the edge of the airport. Um, there's other roads that have erosion, and we're as time goes, we're trying to get around town to fix what we can as we can an update on that part. Been in contact with VTrans, the airport, um, planning commission, and got the paperwork already started for in case there's a declare for FEMA. Emergency. Emergency. Yeah. Okay. And we did, uh, just to back up your statements, we did uh, do some walkovers uh, up to include the <coughs> airport manager, yourself, me, and then later on, the airport manager, Markowski, excavating because they had to do, have to do some work over there anyway. Bob, did you say you went up there as well? Well, I was up with cash this morning. Okay. <coughs> this morning we met with Josh 
from the river management, mm -hmm. um, which possibility re requires a permit to <coughs> shore up the bank and stuff. We might be have enough setbacks, so we don't require a permit, but I actually requested a permit just the same, just to be covered for the future in case something arrives. So at this point, the road is closed. And do you have any prediction as to how long? No idea. We're trying to get it all together to okay. see where the resources are and how, how things can work. We also had another big culvert apparently flushed out on the western end of the gorge road, part way down through. And that culvert we're planning on, on we had a <coughs> culvert road, culvert inventory about 10 days ago and at that time we were looking at replacing that culvert between three and five years and now it's going to be within five weeks. <coughs> That's the one that was uh, had a patch in it? That's the one that had a patch yeah, in it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and the majority of that issue uh, or any of those issues on that road is because of the water coming off of the airport. And yes, on the, the uh, western end, yes. eastern end. On the western end, it, it's the back side of the industrial park, uh, like the um, where the country store, where my country store is in that area. Oh, so that would be for the discharge. culvert that has to be replaced. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it looked to me when we went up there, and I think M Markowski's agreed that there were those big, three big culverts, 24 inch culverts, I think they are. Mm -hmm. that are all concentrated in one ditch when they were cutting trees up there it looks like what they did was they had across a ditch now the state highway department was the crews i think that were doing that beach ranch right <coughs> so they put one 24 inch culvert in and put dirt over it so that they could go to the next section of wood right well you put three culverts into one little, you know, 24 inch culvert. What happened was it dammed up, and then when that, the water pressure from that pond that was created let loose, that's what destroyed the road. <coughs> so, it destroyed the, well, yeah, destroyed that road where the culvert was. Right. A temporary access road to get to the other section of the woods that, were pl that they were planning on clear cut. Gone. And with that being said, what it does, it uprighted that culvert flopped it around, made a dam, shot the water out across the clear cut that did, and then it allowed water to make four different trenches down on over the bank to our road, and then the water's running down our road, and then going off the side of the road and eating the bank out right down over the ravine. It's going to be a very costly project. <coughs> we expect that road to be closed for quite a while. Quite a while. Yes. All right, so we just want to make the public aware. There's some big, what do they call those, Jersey barriers? Yep, Jersey blocks. That that are blocked on both ends up by the bridge and also um, just past where all the houses are. That's blocked off. And the houses there are all secure and safe, so they, and they have access from the Route 7 side. Are there any questions from the public? Cash, just as a thought. <coughs> That's going to be close to well. Then blocks on the east end. Should they be moved west just a little more? Because you see what was happening up there this morning. Well, you didn't go up there, did you? I didn't go there. But people have been sneaking around the... <coughs> kind of going up you to the lawn there a little bit. Move them out or out a little bit more. Move them a little farther to the west where they can't get by them. We might even bring another block up there. Yeah, yeah, either one. That would work okay. probably. There's no need for... Uh, when we went up there with cars, with or pickups and stuff, you had moved one of those blocks, but that's moved back now, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. They're back. All right. All right. Do you have anything else under highway other than uh, this? That's about it. As I said, we'll get around town as quick as we can, and <coughs> yeah. all the roads so far are still passable, but not totally safe. But they are what they are at this time. All right, I'm gonna give them to the paving bits. Sure, we'll do the bits. Okay. 
take one. Figures we need to look at. Sixty-five per ton. Mm -hmm. <coughs> <coughs> Just gonna compare per ton prices here. Right, per ton price. Um. So if you want to start a list cache. Yep. I've got uh, Wilk paving down here, and their per ton price is sixty-five dollars and ninety cents a ton. I have Pike Industries here at $65.40 a ton. I have Fuller Sand and Gravel at $0.70 cents per ton. $70. $70. $70. $70. Jesus Christ. $0.70? I'd be all over it. <laughs> <laughs> the whole town, man. Set $0.70, cents, let's <laughs> pave the whole town. <laughs> 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 <My driveway. laughs> Don't stop. Just keep going. Why did I say seventy cents? I was looking at that dot. That's why. This is an extra copy. Yes, that's Bob. Save this thing too. Stop. And they have that other. <laughs> this one looks like it lists more jobs, though, Cash. Were you aware we, of that? Yeah, we went by the ton, but because at that time we were get hopefully for the grant. Okay. So basically, this one you got to scale back the jobs now because we didn't get the grant. Exactly. Okay. And that's why we had to go with a per ton price. Nope. Okay. And what I'm seeing here is they all have the shim coat with mm -hmm. the top coat. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. Yep, that's what I see and too. Those are all apples for apples. I was going to say you've got apples to apples on mm -hmm. everything. Do you have a preference? Well, we come in. Did Rick see this one? I didn't see this last one. <coughs> I saw that we one. We saw that one. We didn't see Fuller. <coughs> Just want to put that cash. Well, Fuller, you've seen that one. Fuller came in at $70. Yep. Um, Wilt come in at $60, $65.90 <coughs> and Pike come in at $65.40 so it's a 50 cent per ton difference between the lowest two and $4.10 difference between Wilt, Wilk and Fuller I, I would guess we'd go with the lowest bid there they have the, they're all got the same Go with Pike. With Pike. Pike. That's my opinion. Any of the board members have any comments? Nothing other than I know Pike seem to be loaded up fairly well on work, my understanding, when they do it. <coughs> That's that was my main concern and they're they said around mid August. Oh okay. But okay. weather's weather permitting creature of what we Time wise, but now the world. So you're you're looking to do then because obviously we didn't do the paving last fall. So you've got this paving grant that or paving budget that's getting ready to run out, and then we're going into a new fiscal year. So you've got two right. years worth of a paving budget. Yeah. We have a grant for East Clarendon Road from last okay, year. Okay. Yeah. 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 Has okay. To yeah. That's right. Plus a town share on, on East Clarendon Road goes from Carol Buffum's old. Shop okay. north, almost to the store. There's a break. Okay. And yep. then, on that takes care of the grant. My thought was, long in that area, is the 
on the town side for this fiscal year <coughs> go from Reynolds at Cole River Road Junction up mm -hmm. over the hill towards Crares, that's called North Shrewsbury Road, to that church. The Jehovah's Witness yes. church yeah. up there? Yep. There's a break there because the tire from there to Route 7 is in darn good shape. And so basically just from the church up, are you going to do the spur over Pimple Hill too? or That's... Depends on if we got enough funding and what I figured out. I was just trying to throw figures together. We'd have enough to do that. The little, Hill. The little single yeah. lane. Yeah, thing. the one way pass. Yep. Okay. <coughs> Which is a bear, but. Yeah, does that require any tank resurgence? Or? We'll have to Pimple. just clean her up okay. a little bit. Pimple. Yeah. 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 Right. And that's a rough road because it doesn't have much base in it and it's got a lot of tree roots. Yep. Yeah. So I, I see it's going to be a high maintenance. Throughout the years, where long we're not going to do the grinding, no. we'll have that base that's there already to build it up a little build bit. Build off from Put that down the point. Yeah. So, based on the road commissioner's uh, recommendation, I would make the motion that we go ahead and approve um, the Pike Industries bid with the limitations, obviously, on the jobs that he mentioned and the fact that because of the not getting paving grant. Not all those jobs are going to get completed. Correct. Okay. If we had paving grant, we could have done them all. But <coughs> so with with the road commissioner's uh, recommendation of the jobs. Is there a second for discussion? Second. Is there any further discussion? And you're predicting that they're going to start somewhere in August. Yes, mid August to okay. the end of August. Okay. All right. But. Weather permitting, <coughs> right. well, we're gonna push them. All right, then. Um, hearing no other comments, all those in favor of the motion, please say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Who's that? That's Welch. Okay. This here is Pikes. This. <coughs> <coughs> Do you want to leave this out so anybody else look at them or? Yeah, no, we'll just put them here. That's bikes. Yeah. There's one looking for right here. Yeah. So if anybody wants to see what this paper is all about. So motion made and carried. We're all in favor. And so, good luck. <laughs> That's a relief. We'll see how that goes. Yeah. Cash, one other quick little, just just a question more than anything. Up on the corner of uh, Squires Road and Middle Road, that corner looks nice. Good job. Oh, thanks. Thanks, our crew. Yeah, but should there be one more? One of them big blocks because when them log trucks come down around, sometimes with the pup trailers on, if they're got a car coming south, they cut that pretty short there. And I'm wondering if they're gonna dig that right back out again on you. We're actually <coughs> put the block where it was, and we're gonna kind of wait and see how the, the tracks are that's oh, embedded okay. in the, the gravel, yeah, okay, and then let her settle in for a while and then pave it get it paved but when maybe pikers somebody's in the area Rumble. we can have them come in with the skid steers or whatever dig it out deep and put a, a real good layer in there because you have tandems turning twisting yeah right in that new section oh yeah that's rough on but it but at least we've supported that road now yeah and with the flooding we just had it, it worked stood very, up good it worked very well yeah it, it looked good there. it looks good that was quite a undertaking but yeah we got through it have anything else, Bob? No, that's all I had. All right, let's shoot down the old business. Contract <coughs> with the Sheriff's Department. Um, Heidi, you want to speak to that, what, what had happened? Sure. Um, there was an error in the initial contract presented to the board by the Sheriff's Department, so uh, in the dollar figure. So we went ahead and um, amended that with the Sheriff's Department, and they've issued us a new contract for you folks to execute. 
Right, and with the correct numbers on it this yes. time. Yeah. And it has been reviewed and it, it is accurate. Okay, so the numbers are accurate now? Yes. Yep. Okay, cool. So I would ask for a motion to re sign <coughs> the corrected contract. Make a motion that we go ahead and re sign the corrected uh, Sheriff's Department contract. Uh, with the designation <coughs> of uh, Rick Wilbur as the administrator of the agreement. Is there a second to that motion? That. All, right. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? I would abstain because yes, of the conflict of interest. But you have to sign the uh, the administrator for the town, Rick. What's that? I'd have to sign for the I yeah you the liaison. Yeah. yeah. Guy. That I don't have an issue with. Pass it that way. I think it was unanimous <coughs> anyway, wasn't it? Yes. yes. Yep. So it's fine. <coughs> All right, uh, Art Clark Forest. Um. I've been talking with uh, our forest tree warden slash Joe Peterson. <laughs> and uh, he went and we had a discussion why we have money before the end of uh, this month. There's $4,000 in there. Uh, okay. And um, it was brought up at the last meeting, Cindy and Heidi. And we had a general discussion uh, relative to getting that work done, clean up and stuff over at the forest. Uh, Joe went and uh, had a contractor go in there and look at it. He, of course, walked with the contractor and everything. And there was an estimated cost of $3,500. So um, what we're considering is because He's our uh, warden in town forest, warden or anything. His business, uh, Timbercraft Forestry, we would issue an, a, the check for four grand. He would make the payments as the contractor completes his work. And then uh, whatever is left over, he'll turn back to the town. So basically, we're paying Timbercraft. He's going to facilitate <coughs> and then he's going to issue anything that's left back to us right with the understanding that <coughs> there is a four thousand dollar limit so if anything well, sure. else, yeah if anything well else, and all the paperwork that i saw right. he, he yeah. admits he understands that so and uh, joe's always done well by that right. forest up there yeah. and is always taking good care of us so i would go ahead and make the motion that we authorize him to facilitate the work on the on the R. Clark Forest and issue Timbercraft Forestry the $4,000 that's been budgeted um, and have Joe facilitate the completion of the work. We have a second for discussion. Is there any discussion? So I guess my, my only question uh, I would assume that Joe will speak with the contractors regarding insurance. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I think yeah. he mentioned it. Some of that paper. I did not see it in there, but it's probably there. And but he stuff. did say he did say the contractor is insured because he only deals with uh, through his business. So yeah. okay. we need a writer to the town here to have on file for that. Um, it could be suggested. I I'll amend my motion to what I had before. And add to the end of it that he needs to provide the insurance certificates for the companies to the town. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> and you're okay with that, you, Rick? Yes. Okay. Any other questions? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? I'm going to show <coughs> that's. New business, burial request. So, uh, at the end of last week, we had a phone call from a gentleman whose father had passed away. 
um, looking to have his father buried in Chippen Hook Cemetery um, July 6th, which is just around the corner. We, Cindy and I did pull the paperwork and were able to go out to the cemetery um, to locate the plot and uh, contingent on, so there's two parts to this. So contingent to, um, or contingent with your approval, so he's going to provide there? us with a, um, let me start over. He needs <laughs> to provide us with a certificate of cremation. And once he's done that, um, as long as you folks have approved, he will be able to continue with um, interviewing his father. Um, I have sent the second part of that is I have sent Robert photos of the um, plot where this gentleman is. It's his plot. Um, there's some work that needs to be done there before he this service can happen. Um, so you folks need to <coughs> discuss and decide how you're going to handle that. My thought is, then we hire have somebody or in a contract to at an hourly rate to do s some cleanup um, we authorize them to do cleanup we authorize the tree work and we authorize the <coughs> removal of the piles but we said that we were going to wait on the reclaiming of the edges because at this time probably about with a weed eater of some sort Somebody could go in there and knock it Four out. Four hours could take the whole, all the <coughs> back boundary of the cemetery down. So I would say, I mean, the cemetery fund is out of money. So if we're going to... I see the highway coming into this one. No. So <laughs> what I was going to say <laughs> is whatever we're going to do, we're going to need to authorize it out of contingency. And this is very much a contingency situation because we've got a, a funeral coming up. Yeah. yeah. And... We need to get somebody in there now and get that cut back so that the funeral can happen. What do we have in that contingency fund? I mean, worst case scenario, I could go up for half hour and just do that section. Yeah, but the, I mean, in an ideal world, those couple of small trees are supposed to, should come out of there too, right? You have five thousand dollars in contingency. <sighs> Some of the trees on the back board, and I don't know which ones because I didn't see the bidding sheet. That when the guy came through, he went through and he determined which trees needed to come out from that tree company or whatever. So I have no idea which trees are, but I think there's a couple of trees back there that will be coming out. <laughs> well, where you're supposed to, where you're standing in the picture is <coughs> where the plot is. Yes. So well, it goes, and it, go, but it, it goes forward, but yeah, that's the back side of his plot. And I mean, either way, it needs to be weed whacked out of there. That's yeah, where his, that's be technically where his headstone would be. And then coming towards us. So is that something? Uh, just for that section, I could go up and just, it only takes me a half down. hour, I can do that one section. But my thought is, it's not really overgrown that bad right now. It should be all taken back right to the stone wall before it gets ahead of us again. In other words, the growth is small, you're saying. So before yeah, the, the growth I gets mean, the any growth bigger. Up. Now can we have the three feet? But the can back we? wall also is going to have to be done because that's where all of the stones that I showed you yeah. last year are hiding now. Are, are we, uh, can we talk to the individual who's doing the maintenance uh, so. up there anyway? And that ask him to just come in and uh, for an added fund. See if he just go up there and do the work. Give him an hourly. He, yeah. I think he quoted an hourly rate in his. There is. Bid. I saw one. Yeah. I thought we requested one. There was one in there. I yeah. think. Yep. Uh, again, because it's a relative of mine, I'm going to abstain and recuse from that. If you want. I know you've had me contact him before. If you want me to contact him, I've got no problem doing that, but I will abstain from the decision. All right, can you ask? It should be checked for mowing, too, to make sure that it's <coughs> for July 6th. Mm hmm Just 
When you talk to him, make sure that it's presentable for July 6th for the funeral. Because that's when the funeral is. Have, yes. you, have you talked to the contractor that's now doing that, Cindy? No, he, he have you talked to the contractor? No. Oh. I don't even know him. Okay, but uh, given that there may be that same set of circumstances, conflict with Heidi, if we give you the phone number, can you have a discussion with him about going in there, given that you know exactly where you're supposed to we're just supposed to uh, have the work done and ask him to do it. I don't know what the conflict would be. Though. Well, I think Cash is Cash is Cash is there. volunteering to do where the yeah. burials. Yeah, yeah. The but burial. if that whole but they're bringing up. So the my burial. thought is, you're talking about just getting it all done. Get it done. The whole thing should be done. And actually, the scenario with the one that's doing the mowing lawn, lawn mm -hmm. mowing at this time, if he weed whack all that back or however he gets it down. That way he knows the terrain and he when can, he's weed whacking and he'll and he feel can better. he maintain it moving forward. He'll, be, yes. he'll feel better by sticking his equipment down in here around the backside. So yes, and there's also a section um, down by where we were going to put the car parking. That yep. section down there isn't being mowed back as far as it possibly can be either because it was grown up when he got the contract and I don't think he realized that was part of it. So... Um, where the ducks are. <laughs> so, can you, if we get the number to you, I mean, I can meet you over there too if you want, but um, I don't necessarily, Cash has been there a couple of times, uh, or at least once. I realized that I had to go with my mouth. But, um, well, I would my just point say is, you, you can go and the cemetery committee can go and meet with them and talk with them. Yeah. yeah. I don't have anything to do. But I think a big thing right now is you've got to get that lot cleared if you've got a funeral coming right up here. Yeah. But Which I think Cash is saying he'll get that at that's least a little problem. bit taken care of. That's just, a, you know. We're talking, yeah, 20 by 20, 20 area or whatever. I think that's the biggest push right there. 20 get by that 12. Done and then so if he takes care of that, there's I, no big yank right. on the rest of it right, right. off the bat. But the, right. I would really push to get the rest of it done all along the fence line, well, all the way around the back side. Well, it's young growth. So it's yeah. already been a lot of work put in there in the last couple of years with right. the rubbish <coughs> stuff. Mm. And yeah. it's, it's a shame to let it go with all the work that they did with it. So, Cash is going to take care of the plot area. But if you and Heidi, your committee, uh, can contact him and then meet up there, I let me know. Okay. And then I can meet up there as well. All and right. Let's get her done. It's good that Heidi's going to go because she knows what's the budget. So. And he can give us a price. There isn't one. It's going to be contingency, because. Right. Yes. I mean, it's going to be because there's no there's no way it's not going to be. The money's gone. Yes. No. 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 Even I, even for next. But she year. knows what is in sure. the sure. budget for the contingency. Let me correct. Sure. That. Is that better? Sure. Okay. Feel better, Rob. Feel a little better. Okay. <laughs> it's been a long day. Yeah. Oh. I just need approval from you folks for lot thirty six. Um, the northern part of that lot for him to be, for him to be buried there. Anybody We're going to have to stake it because it's a two person lot. Somebody else owns the other half. It's the Keo lot. Yes. So I go ahead and make the motion that we approve the um, burial in the Keo lot, lot 36. So we actually own this cemetery? Is that yes. That's, a, that's one of ours. I'll second Robert's motion. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Second. Bob did. Bob did. I did. To give you an idea, Cash, I've been on this board for seven or eight years, and there's been a grand total of, I think, three people buried <laughs> in the cemetery. I think that's it's. No, it might be three. Heather, Maybe three. Heather, Maybe three. Heather claims that all the plots now are done. If you have. Um, it's, it's just the family lots. Right. Yeah. Family lots is room, I believe, but right. uh, mm -hmm. no lots to sell. Right. Correct. Treasurer's report. Um, I've given you <coughs> a budget status of where we're at right now. We will be running one last check run on Thursday um, to clear out any bills that come in between uh, tomorrow and Thursday if we do get any in the mail. So that everything is um, is cleaned up 
for the end of the fiscal year. Um, I have previously asked that any invoices that are out there um, from our different committees be funneled to me uh, for today, and that has seemed to happen, so I'm, I'm very pleased with that. Um, I think that's about all I have. All right. Um, Janet did give me something here for uh, VLCT model ATV ordinance and guidance. So I think we'll just put this in our, we want to start working on ordinances in maybe a second meeting in July. <coughs> um, There's a lot of reading material here. Right. Mm -hmm. So Far more than what we can discuss tonight. Right, yes. But I just, I want to make it, uh, Sure. Because there's other proposals on <coughs> marijuana and everything else. Yep. But I just want it on TV that we're we want to start that process now. Uh, probably the second meeting in July we'll discuss setting up a workshop around that. Okay. Yep. Bob, do you have any concerns? No, I think I'm set for tonight. How about you, Cass? Just uh, let the public be aware that. The roads have, still have some erosion on them and drive safely until we get them fixed. And then after we get them fixed, drive safer. I have no other concerns. Do you have any? I have nothing tonight. Rick? Um, uh, thanks to the road road crew for getting on that real quick. Yeah. Nice job, of it. Of it. As always, we're doing a great job before that. We can say nothing. All right, I'd entertain a motion. A motion to adjourn. Second or nine. All in favor? Aye. Anyone opposed?